Welcome to this Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial number nine. This tutorial is a continuation of number eight. We have created a little figure here. It looks a little bit like a pawn in a chess game. It is kind of low poly, it's rather coarse. So we'll try to spruce it up a little bit by adding a, a modifier to this figure. There's the little wrench and add a subsurface. Sub there you go. Subdivision surface. And crank it up a little bit and render that. Press F12 to render. See what, okay, that looks pretty good. So I think I'm pleased with the way it looks for now in terms of just the surface and everything, so I can move this over a little bit, a little, a little bit more space. And we're going to create a little collar on this, on this uh, figure. And uh, wait a minute, I'm gonna put, activate the, so the modifier is visible in the editing cage. I'll press the tab key to go into edit mode. And here, I would like to have a, I'm gonna press the Alt key and the, the right mouse button. And I want to make this color a little thinner than this. So what I will have to do is I'll go Control Tab, choose Edge, right mouse click, Alt, right mouse click, shift, Alt, shift, right mouse click. And um, I think I want to divide these first. Uh, I'll go with four. So W, subdivide. Yeah, four. So now we have a different scenario than before, a little bit more to choose from. And what I'm gonna do is Alt Shift select these and what I want to do now is to extrude these and then scale. So I press extrude, scale, shift Z, which means, uh -huh, yes, so I can scale it like that, but I also only want to take it out just a notch, just like that. And then do the same thing again, scale, shift Z. There you go. A little bit too much, maybe. Scale, Shift, Z. There you go. And if I go back to object mode, it looks okay. It's kind of smooth. The edges are not very sharp. Just want to demonstrate that here how to make this edge sharper. Um, Choose edge. I'll select both of these edges. And if I now scale Z in the Z axis, scale Z and kind of pull them apart a little bit, then they'll come closer to that edge. And go back to object mode and see how this edge now is sharper. And if you want to do the same thing here, closer to the body of the or the figure, you can do Alt, right mouse, scale, shift Z, Z. Do the same down here, scale, shift Z, Z. 
see there how you can do weird stuff with it. To avoid this really jerky or, or hard to control situ situation, you can press the shift key and uh, you get a slower, if you press the shift key, the, the actual action becomes more precise. Let's see what that looks like. I think I'm happy with this. This looks like a, some kind of a pawn and that would fit into square pegs in a chessboard. That's an invention for seafarers. They can play chess if you don't have magnets. Okay, what we're going to do now is we need eight of these to produce a batch of pawns that would be sufficient for a chess game. So to do that, I'll add another modifier to this object. I'll add the array modifier. And to separate these two, they're, they're now their relative offset is one, in other, in other words, one of themselves. So I want to have a little bit more, 1.2, for instance. You can also here, if you click there and it turns dark, then you can one period 25, for instance. You can, in other words, in all these input fields, you can just type in if you if it turns dark like that, then you'll, you'll be able to type in whatever it is that you need to type in. So we have these now separate a little bit more and we can increase the count to eight of them. And I want to move the camera a little bit. Also move the camera in the normal direction backwards and I'll look through the camera at zero. That looks good. And I'll look at from the front. I know that this light is probably insufficient for for this rendering. I'll change it to global. I can lift it up a little bit and I want to add another light. Here's the cursor now, so that's where the light will appear, and I'll add lamp, a hemi lamp, which points straight down. It's a general light, and I can go in and change its properties a little bit, make it a little bit weaker, 0 0.5. Now we have a general light and a light that casts the shadows. Maybe we want to put that like that and look through the camera and we we'll press F12 and render this. So, okay, that was quick enough. So here we have the, our little pawns. Let's see here, go back to 3D view. So here we have added on this to this model what we did today, where in this tutorial we applied, we didn't apply, we used, we're using the subsurface modifier, or subdivide surface modifier, which means that it will artificially create a denser mesh. And then we also use are using the array mo modifier to produce several copies of this. There are also artificial copies. They don't really exist. They're just produced through an, a process or a, a function. So that's what we've done. We've completed this figurine or this figure and uh, applied a couple of operator uh, modifiers and produced this result. And that's it for this tutorial.
So thank you very much and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.